Hi friends, I've got a Hazel. Hazel Green. I remember being in high school and even in college, people were fretting big time about what to major in. If I choose wrong, will it ruin my future? What if nobody's hiring people with my major? I understand exactly why people worry about this. It seems really important. The truth is, it's not as make or break as you might think. Though of course, there are exceptions. Aspiring veterinarians are likely going to want to study the animal sciences, and aspiring engineers should study the corresponding field in engineering. Outside of very specified fields though, what you study and where you study it is not going to make or break your career. Life West Chiropractic School, for example, is one of the most well-regarded chiropractic universities in the country, and they accept college grads who studied art if they're fit in every other way. I studied psychobiology and work in tech sales. My dad studied English and has worked in marketing at some of the world's most recognizable companies. A former colleague of his became a VP at Logitech before her 40th birthday, and she studied communications at Buffalo State. A family friend is a marketing manager at Apple. He studied psychology at McMaster University. And a hometown neighbor is an SEO manager at Adobe. He studied business and finance at San Francisco State. The examples of this are endless. At my company, the CEO studied strategic management at Chico State before going to business school nine years later. The co-founder was pre-med at Penn State before attending business school six years later. Our chief revenue officer studied political science at Miami of Ohio before attending law school. The CMO studied finance. The CFO studied mechanical engineering. Are you getting the picture? Only the CEO majored in something even kind of relevant to what he ended up doing for work 10 or 20 years down the line. So I guess then you might be wondering, why bother to choose a major at all? Why bother going to a prestigious private school? Well, there are a lot of reasons. A rigorous environment might push you to be better. Private schools have great alumni networks. A prestigious college on a resume might catch a recruiter's eye. And picking the right major for you means you get to start climbing the corporate ladder at a younger age. Still, hopefully I made my point. Your major doesn't define you. Your college doesn't define you. You define you. If you are a grinding, next level savage of ass whooping, and you're a pretty decent person to be around, you're gonna be fine. And I do want to tell a quick story to make a note on school prestige. One of my peers is a Stanford graduate, and she makes twice as much out of college as I do. Twice as much! It's the highest first year salary I've ever heard of for an undergrad. Is that just because she went to Stanford? The short answer is no. The long answer, she double majored in environmental engineering and computer science while concurrently starting a master's program in civil and environmental engineering. And all the while, she worked at least three jobs as a member of two organizations and played and performed with the Stanford marching band. And no, her parents aren't just paying her whole way through college. She's spending her first year salary as a 21 year old on living expenses and paying back loans. So what's the message there? I honestly believe that she would be on a very similar career path had she attended a less prestigious school. Yeah, of course, the rigorous environment helped form the grinding monster that she is today, but that's also just who she is. A savage is a savage, no matter where you put them. So please, don't waste too much time and energy fretting over your major, and don't slump into a depression if you don't get into your dream school. Just be a champion at everything you do and the pieces will fall into place. Hey, thanks for watching and until next time, keep grinding little Hazel wants to play with the grinding people.